Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe and today we're going to be discussing Taylor Swift's night out with one of her besties, Gigi Hadid. Taylor not attending the Chiefs Falcons game this week. Donna Kelsey on the red carpet talking about Taylor and Travis. All that good stuff. Let's first start out with Taylor's night on the town with Gigi Hadid. So obviously we know last weekend Taylor was in Kansas City for the Chiefs Bengals game on Sunday. We know how long, how much time she spent in Kansas City that week. We know obviously her mom, her brother came with her to that game, the Heim sisters. So again, we never really know. Travis's schedule during this time of the year and during football season is really, really demanding and very time consuming. I assume he probably had Monday off from practice. I don't know that to be true, 100%. Um, but his time is very valuable during the season. So I could imagine Taylor. And listen, I know there was a lot of um, reports and stuff that came out prior to the season that Taylor was going to spend a lot of time in Kansas City with Travis. And I think that will be true. But also for Taylor, when she's in Kansas, she's basically on house arrest for the most part. There's really nothing that she can do aside from be in Travis's house and like maybe go play with Travis and another, like a group of people, but she can't really exist like a normal person. She can't even, and also she doesn't have friends that live in Kansas City. I mean, I, I know she's obviously being close with, depending on how you feel with the Mahomes family, but there's just not a lot that she can do. And so she's just kind of stuck in the house. Travis is gone most of the time at practice and whatnot. So it makes sense that she would then to New York or someplace where she could like be around her friends and go out to dinner and just have a little bit more of a life um, rather than be in Kansas City when Travis is already busy and not able to really spend much time with her. So anyway, we then saw her out to dinner the, for the weekend with her friend Gigi Hadid, who obviously she is very close to. She looked super cute. She's definitely in her fall clothing vibe. I think that's that's definitely apparent for sure. Um, and then there were a lot of people who I think rightfully so felt like Taylor would then take her jet down to Atlanta for the Chiefs Falcons game on Sunday night. Um, you know, she did that obviously last year quite a bit, especially towards the end of the season. She was going to a lot of the away games. She went to Wisconsin. She went to the Packers Chiefs game last year. I know she went to the Patriots Chiefs game that was away last year. Um, but, and let's remember this, there were also a lot of away games that she'd tend. Um, and a lot of games either that she couldn't go to because she was busy and she was out of town or just games that like she just didn't go to. I, I remember very specifically she went to the Chiefs Minnesota Vikings game in Minnesota. She didn't go to the Chiefs Chargers game in Los Angeles. Like there were away games that I think she could have attended that she chose not to attend. So there were a lot of, I saw a lot of people online speculating like, what does this mean? Why is Taylor not there? Why didn't she go this, that, the other? I don't think it's that big of a deal. I really don't, especially because Taylor, she would have to fly down to Atlanta she would get to see Travis for a second and then he has to go back to Kansas City and she doesn't really get to see him. Um, so I don't, I don't think it's that weird. I don't think it's that surprising that she didn't go. It's also a fairly, I mean, it's like a two and a half hour flight. I think maybe if they were playing in, again, New England, maybe even Philadelphia or Pittsburgh or something closer on the East Coast, maybe would have made the journey because again, that would be a much shorter flight. But I don't think we need to read too much into her not attending. The other part of it too is like, Travis has had a slower to this season than most seasons. And part of that is because he consistently gets double teamed and it's difficult for Patrick Mahomes to get the ball to him because of that. Part of it is Patrick has been slightly off this season. I think missed Travis being open here and there and he's looking for other guys on the field. I also think part of it and we have to it's just part of the game, but Travis is getting older. He is not the play he was a couple years ago. So there's a bit of growing pains there too. And I could see, um, I don't know, I could kind of see Travis being like, you know what, Taylor, you don't need to come to this game. Like I'm trying to figure some shit out with myself. And I don't know that, 
I don't know. I'm totally speculating here, but again, don't think much about it. The Chiefs play the Chargers this upcoming weekend in Los Angeles. So I feel like this is maybe a game that's more likely for Taylor to attend. Obviously, we know she has a place in LA. She's spent some time in Los Angeles, of course. Um, so it wouldn't be if maybe she went to LA this week and then went to the game with... And that's the other thing, too, is she has a lot of friends who obviously live in LA and people she knows in the LA area. So it wouldn't surprise me if she chose to go to that game with friends. And also she can like exist and spend some time in LA prior to the game. So she's not just traveling for like four hours and then leaving immediately afterwards. So we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see if she goes. Um, and then the last thing that I wanted to discuss was Donna Kelsey, the queen that she is attending the premiere for Travis Kelsey's new show, Ryan Murphy's show, Grotesquerie, which is like a horror thrillery type show on FX. We've seen a lot of like clips of Travis in the show, photos and stuff. We don't exactly know who he's playing, the character, but um, Travis obviously couldn't go to the premiere because he's in football season. He's got to be in Kansas City for practice and whatnot. So Donna Kelsey went in Travis's place and she's just the best. And she was asked, of course, questions about Taylor and Travis and she answered them very kindly and beautifully and... Um, and was even asked if she's gonna go to the Eras tour. And I think she said something like, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to make it, or I, you know, I I I I need to make it. And it wouldn't surprise me if maybe she tried to go to one of these upcoming shows in um in this uh I I feel like she'll probably try to make one make one happen. Um, but she's just very sweet. And if people were stressed, I I also saw some people feeling like Taylor and Travis broke up because Taylor wasn't at the Falcons game, which again, everyone needs to calm down. Um, Donna was talking glowingly about Taylor uh, at the premiere and also Taylor's family, which is very sweet. So love Donna, love seeing her. And yeah, that's basically it for the rundown. Again, it's been relatively quiet the last couple of weeks, um, probably just recharging, regenerating after being on tour for so long, taking some time to just breathe and relax because in about a month's time, less than a month, she will be back on tour again, starting off the last leg of the Eras door in Miami. So listen, she deserves all the rest, all the relaxation she can get. By the way, if you are interested in football and you're interested in sports and you want to hear me talk more about the Chiefs and Travis Kelsey and the football season in general, if you haven't subscribed to our other channel, A Fast Break. Um, we cover all sports content. We discuss football. We discuss all different kinds of, of sports. So if you want a more in-depth football discussion, please make sure to subscribe to our other channel, A Fast Break. We would really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Do that. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.